guys, Brickman117. Welcome back to the channel and part one of my brand new Inbox series. This is a series that I'm going to put together showing you everything I currently have in the collection and also as I add more things to the collection over the coming months or the next year, I'll be sure to create update videos to keep you up to speed with how the collection is growing. Now, before we take a look at some of the sets in the collection, I just wanna say at the get-go, I totally understand that brand new in box collections aren't for everyone and each to their own. So this video might not be for you all, but if you hear me out just for a couple of minutes, I think you'll find you'll see the value not only to me, but to you guys as well. There's something I'm trying to create here and by the end of the video, you may have even had your mind changed about how you feel about brand new in-box collections. For those that like brand new in-box collections, you're in for a real treat. You're gonna absolutely love it. There's loads to see here. And the final thing I wanna say, this isn't a boast or a brag. I know how fortunate I am to be able to have this collection. I also know that I'm very fortunate that I can usually buy multiples of sets so I can open a set, enjoy it, and keep one on the shelf. In certain circumstances, I even buy boxes of sets, but usually that's with the intention of some future mock in mind. I also wanna declare that I am not a scalper. If you see that I've bought 10 of one set, it's not because I'm selling them on the internet. I've never sold so much as a brick in my life. This is for my pleasure, my own personal collection, and it's because I have a use for them. That's why I buy so many of the same set sometimes. So with all that said, let's take a look at what we've got. Okay guys, so excuse the audio change and the probably slightly juddery camera work. I'm talking straight into the iPhone now. It's unscripted and I'm gonna try and one take it. So let's get on with it. So first of all, I wanna explain how these shelves work, how I organize it all. Everything on the bottom shelf that you see is a used set. It's either a set I've bought brand new, built and then packed away because I didn't wanna leave it out or it's a set that I've bought used because I couldn't afford or find a brand new one. So I've bought a used box set instead. Some of the sets on the bottom shelf used, I don't have brand new on the shelves above, but that's what we're trying to achieve here. The ideal scenario for me is, is I can try and collect one of every set Mega Constructs has ever made. Highly unlikely that I'll get there, but there's still a lot more that I can add to this collection. So the way I organize this is from the very older sets down here, they get younger and younger as we follow this way along this shelf. And then when we get to the end, it jumps back to the other end of the racking. And then we come along this way. And again, the sets get newer and newer. You can see the newer the sets get, the more I tend to have of them. That's because of certain periods in my life where I was collecting more extensively than other periods. And then when we get to the top shelf, it's pretty much all infinite stuff along here. So that's how I organize it all. As you can see, some of the older years, there's a lot of sets missing, but as you'll know, those are generally the more expensive, harder to find sets. And those are the ones that I enjoy chasing down the most, especially when you get one for a really good price. And again, I said this earlier, the reason I enjoy collecting these is because when you stand back and you look at it, it's basically what it would look like if you were able to go into one of your local stores that sells mega constructs and they had every set ever made available for you to buy. How many of you would like to go to that shop? Well, I'm not aware of a shop like that that exists. So I'm kind of trying to create my own that if I want to open a set, I can. Otherwise, I can always just stand back and look at it and view the history of Halo Mega Constructs in the confines of my own space. And if there's any of you out there that wouldn't appreciate doing the same thing, I think you're watching the wrong video. So I think what we'll do is we'll start off with the newest sets, which you guys are all probably familiar with. But as you can see, we start off with the bigger sets on this end. So I've got some Pelican inbound sets there. And then we move on to the Defense Point Showdown. We've got some of the Wasp Onslaught sets. Got a whole stack of Warthog Rally sets. Now I did have more of those, but I opened quite a few of those sets to finish the Ultimate Diorama. I put three Warthogs in total on that diorama. And then we move on, we've got the Skiff sets. I've got a whole stack 
of Banshee sets. Now, one of the main reasons I bought so many of these Banshee sets is because over here in the UK, they went on a really ridiculous sale and they were something like eight pounds each. And for those two figures and a Banshee, I was definitely gonna get a load of those because I really like the figures and I do like that Banshee. So it's interesting parts, it's banished red and I'm sure they'll come in handy for some kind of future mock. I've also got the chopper tape down there. I've only got one of those. I do intend to get a couple of more of those at some point in the future before they go discontinued. And then we've got a whole stack of mongoose there as well. I had to open loads of those mongoose sets. I think I opened about six mongoose sets to finish the ultimate diorama. So again, they may get used at a future time or they may just sit on the shelf for a while until needed. And then we've got three ghosts there. We've got the little turret set, which was, to be honest with you, just something that I wanted. I'm not overly impressed with that set. It's a very small set and I haven't opened one. I don't really feel the need to open it. I just wanted that one for the box collection. And then we've got two of the building box sets, which I'm still yet to open, but I've got so many spare parts. I haven't felt the need to open one of those sets, but I would like to open one at one point, just have a little play around with it, see what I can come up with. And then we move on to these figures. And again, I like to collect the figures because for the longest of times, I wasn't able to get figures. They're very difficult to get figures anywhere in the UK. Uh, so I've been lucky enough to have a few friends uh, import these for me. So I've been collecting all three series of the Halo Infinite line. So I generally try and get at least two of every figure, keep them in the box, which is nice. And then we've got Series two, hopefully two of every one of those as well. Series three. And again, when I get two of each of those, it's usually because I will open one at some point and then I'll keep one set for the box collection. Then we move on to the Halo Heroes line, which is great. So the first Halo Heroes I was ever able to get were Series 12. So I've got at least two of every one of Series 12. If there's a particular figure in each series that I really like, I try to get two or three more of them because they're just going to come in really handy for future dioramas. Then we can move on. We've got series 13 and we've got series 14 alongside there too. So plenty of Halo heroes. Over here, we've got all sorts of figure packs as well. We've got the Spartan armor pack. We've got one two of those. I think I've got one of those open somewhere as well. And then we've got a whole load of Master Chief versus Brute Warrior sets. And again, the reason I ended up with so many of these, I've got like two of these, two or three of these open and then I've got four here. But they went on special offer either on Amazon UK or .com and I ended up paying about four pounds each, which is just an absolute steal. So I wanted to get those for the, mainly for the Brute Warrior for dioramas. And then in the back there, we got a couple of the uh, platoon pack sets. I did have four, but I opened two for the ultimate diorama. And as we move further along, we've got two of the energy swords, which I haven't built one yet, but I will eventually. We've got some of the battle for the Ark Chiefs. I have built one of those, but I've got two more there because I had an idea for a mock or a diorama I wanted to use them for. We've got the Chief's Helmet. I've only got one of those, but I do want to build it, so I kind of need to get another one so I can build one and still have one in the box. And then we've got two of the Ark sets. Now, I actually wanted to get at least six or seven of these because I want to build a complete ring and then still have one in its box, but they've been so hard to come by in the UK and they've never really gone on special on Amazon.com as far as what I've seen either. So. Um, just not committed to buying any more at this point. And then we've got the helmets. So two greens, two reds, only one yellow and one blue. And then obviously the silver one is coming out soon as well. So hopefully I'll be able to add that to the collection. So that's pretty much all of the infinite line that I've got there. Everything on shelf one. So I'm going to leave it there for part one of this series. Hopefully you enjoyed that. In part two, we'll drop down to the shelf below where the sets start to get a little bit older. And that's where it gets really interesting for me. I personally have more attachment to the older, more classic, harder to find sets 
those ones that you just won't see very often. So as we drop down to those shelves, those videos will probably take a bit more time because I'd like to pull a few of those sets out, show you the front covers, maybe talk about them a little bit, also let you know how long they've been in the collection, where I got them from, and maybe even how much I paid for some of those sets. Some of them have been with me for up to 10, 11 years. So it's gonna be really interesting going through what's on those shelves. And hopefully you guys will get a lot out of it too. So if you're keen to see what's on the rest of the shelves, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss the next episode of Brand New Inbox. And until then, as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.